Hello and welcome back to another episode of Total War Warhammer. Our lizards are off to go and kill some elves and other lizards. I don't mean these are bad lizards. They attacked us. It's not that we were attacking people and backstabbing them randomly. No, it's not our fault. It must be their fault. But here we are with a dilemma. Born killers. Whether or not we want to increase our melee attack or our melee defense at the cost of the other one. Eh, we're on the attack, so let's go with the attack, which means that these guys have pretty crap melee defense. However, we have a lot of attack. We'll be doing all the damage, and we have our army here. Yes, finally. Okay, so we're probably, are we? Wait, can we get our army in range if we just march normally? I kind of don't want him to be tired going into the battle. Now we're going to need to... Yeah, we need to march. There we go. Now his line's big enough. There we go. There we go. Uh, we can just give him AI control, right? Are they going to come out to us is a really good question. We'll, we'll keep the siege on here. If we get to next turn and they haven't attacked us, we can take this guy off and march, which would be a good thing. And Gorok is still pressuring these guys, just constantly <laughs> pissing them off, keeping them from uh, recruiting anything, until Nakai wanders his way down. Because that is what he is, Nakai the Wanderer. I know I, I, know I can build constru uh, siege construction material there. I don't want to. I know that you're going to attack me, because I'm going to retreat. <laughs> It's all to just screw up your recruitment until Nakai makes himself a little bit of an army so that he can join me in this fight. I don't even care if it's just like pure skink or something. I just need something with him so that he can absorb some of the damage. Um, but the guys over on our left flank, the west, it went past their turn and they didn't attack us. <sighs> okay, so they're not going to come out if we have two of those armies here. Well, that's a good thing to know. Now we can um, pop into doo -doo. ambush def defense chains, campaign movement speed, vanguard for certain units. We don't need that. We can just get into that, which will give us some extra melee defense and such. And now we got a good auto resolve. We'll take some damage. And that's okay. They're all wiped out. Chamber of Visions is mine. Oh, and they got a landmark there. Cool. Now we can go and move on and power on to the next guy. Gorok is still pissing people off. And it's probably faster if you sail. Because you don't have to run around. Yeah, way faster if you sail down here. Unfortunately, uh, you can't recruit anything because you sailed that quickly. But we'll probably get you these blessed spawns here. Gorok, go back in. Again, it's just to piss them off. Keep them from doing anything. And $11,000. Upgrade the settlement. And other than that... We're doing good. Unassigned skill points. The net? Should I go for the net? Uh, ooh, we should probably get up to Transcendent Healing. That would probably make a good choice there. Uh, we get rank 18, we get our mount. Okay, that'll be good to get that mount. Uh, skill points. Plane Master, I guess. Uh, 18 will get him uh, on his Carnosaur, which is be a while from now, but it will be better than anything else that we've got. I mean, we could, theoretically, throw him on a cold one. <gasps> Deckless is back! Woo! Okay. He has regenerated, and he swapped himself out with the uh, person that was there. 
So that is not good for us. We're, tricked. <laughs> We're still going to keep to bother him so that he can't recruit anything. Um, but... Oh! Whoa! Okay! Why are the Skaven here? Ickit! This is the other side of the world! Why are you here? And... Uh, this place is being besieged and two places are besieging It's a Everything's going to shit! Oh god! What is this episode? Everybody's being attacked! Settlement besieged! Settlement besieged! Uh, technology research. That's a little bit uh, better for us. What the absolute fuck is going on? Still kind of painful, even with that secondary army here. What if I break the siege with this army and I initiate the siege with the other army? Oh, I don't have enough uh, movement range. Okay, I'll do that next turn. Wonder if it's wonder if it's better. It's a uh, oh, it's just a bunch of skinks. Okay, we can def we can defend that. Uh, this place will won't get defended because it is uh, although it does have walls. That's annoying though, but it does have walls. Okay, now, Nakai, uh, you should only be able to do your stuff while in a s my own territory. So we can put you there, go boom, 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 grab all those things, and just make you as much of an army as I can. We can go pick up, keep Teclas from making any more troops, and then... When the Kai can join in next turn, then he moves down here and like ambushes or something, and then Teclas will attack that army, and then it'll work. I think it'll will. I think this will work. Although this guy is just spamming skink skinks. Uh, he'll never take Itza, because he'll never get past this all, all of this. We have, like, solar engine bullshit here. This place will fall, for sure. Uh, but I do need to wrap up here. I only have six turns left with this army before all these dinos go. So I do need to finish off the Golden Colossus within those six turns. So I can't really break these armies off to go back. I need to uh, stick down here. Actually, the Golden Colossus is pretty weak of a, a garrison. Uh, what does it have for... I don't know what it has for buildings. After this fight here, because this is their capital, and it's a level 5 with a level 3 uh, walls. After this fight, I can probably break off my main army here, my life main priest person, and send him back. I can probably do that. Again... Just retreating. Keeping them all pissed off and stuck in their place. <sighs> really? Is it really that bad? Why is it that bad? I have walls. These units aren't great. But... I should be able to do something about this, right? Like, okay, what do they have that's good? They have Ikit and a Doom Rocket. Does the AI actually use the Doom Rocket appropriately? Because that that would suck. So I can't really clump up. Because if you know, I just I'll just go back to my. Uh, my garrison point and just hold there and then he just doom rockets and kills everything. He's got a ton of wind of magic. He's got uh, a melee specialist here. 
Dark Wizard, Duels of Infantry, Warp Grinders. Okay, Warp Grinders, eh, they're okay. All of this rats I'm just not even looking at because they'll just get eaten up. Pterodon Riders have some missile range to them, so they could theoretically go and kill the Death Globe um, Bombardiers. Their range is only 45. They're not even mortars, like 85. They would have to get into the, the base. But also, I have towers and walls, because I have this is a settlement. I feel like I can defend this. Like, it'll be painful, yes. But I, I feel like I can do a lot of damage to Ikit if I actually fight this, instead of just auto-resolving. Because if that's the balance of power, that's pretty disgusting. So, I guess we have to fight it. Unless I am completely like underestimating the power of the army that Ikit has here, I, I don't understand why it would be such a bad... Uh, value for me here. Um, I'll probably put the cold, run, cold one riders in the um, the settlement um, capture point. Leave them there because I don't know. Probably not much reason for them. The cavalry. When we need more infantry, probably take the walls and hold the walls. Considering what do they have to take them down? They have the the. Maybe a siege tower or two? Or six? Oh, yes. Yeah. So they're in siege towers. So they're going to breach our walls real easy here. You guys can swing around back behind and start attacking their warp fires from behind and drop bombs on them real early. So one, we'll go two, three, four, five, and then I'm not sure what to do with these guys. Hmm, put them in front of each gate for now. They're like anti-large, right? No, they're armor piercing, bonus infantry. Okay, so they'll, they'll just rip through like Skaven bullshit real quick. Uh, unfortunately, I can't put them on walls, which really sucks. <sighs> Do I even hold the walls? Considering the fact that they're going to get over my walls really easily due to their towers. Is this even relevant? I do get feral cold ones, which is nice, so I can call them down to attack some of the backfield stuff. And I get Holy Stella, which gets Missile Accuracy and Missile Base Damage. Okay, alternatively, instead of holding walls, I hold Blockade there, Blockade there, and then I just spread out my guys back here so a single Doom Rocket doesn't kill me. I put Chameleon Skinks on the walls because they have decent speed until the enemy gets too close, and then I pull them back. That's probably the best choice. So I can put like spears. Spears. And then there'll be what? Warriors. 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 Scar veteran there. Razorbacks here. Just want to make sure everything's nicely spread out. Croxigar on each side as well. And then for these skinks, uh, because they are stock, they won't be shot at immediately. And if you hold alt, uh, is it alt or is it right click and holding alt, you can change your lines. And so you can make them into one long line. And so what you can do with that is... Zoop, and that way I, this, these guys are covering multiple towers. So these guys can cover those two towers. All just by themselves. 
which makes it very nice. Because we can cover tower, tower, tower with one unit of skinks. Although I'll probably just want to do these two towers. And do this tower with another unit of skinks, because I can get this tower over here. And that way, all the towers will get activated. And then once they get close to the walls, and they sp essentially once they spot my skinks, I'll pull them back. And immediately these flying units are going to go on an uh, adventure here to go kill their specialty units. So they have no idea who's on the towers right now. But we're going to target fire down some. Is it worth shooting the towers? Probably not. Just shoot as much damage as you can into the uh, priority targets. Warp fire throwers. You out of range a bit here. Yeah, more into the warp fire throwers there. Yeah, that's it. They've spawned a clan rat back there, that's fine. I want to slow things down a bit. We're going to see if we can, like, if I can get rid of the bombardiers and get rid of the warp fires, I think the rest of the army is shit. And we'll be able to take them out. So, uh, that's too spread out. I think we'll go over here and bomb there. Uh, what we can do is we can get feral cold ones. Out of nowhere. And pull back these blessed. Get them off the wall now. You guys are probably, are probably a little late to get them off the wall, actually. Run them into the Deathlow Bombardiers. But the blesseds are scampering away. And we're going to go bomb on these guys right here. There is Ikid Claw. Whatever he is doing. Oh, my God. I don't know what that is. Hey, there's the nuke. Okay, good. I'm happy the nuke was used up then. Drop these bombs here. It's a decent drop. Not the best, but it's workable. And our blesseds are slipping away. Okay, so nuke is done. We can clomp up now. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Stop his rampage. Stick him in the back. He's done. Okay. Our blesseds are f getting away. Or not blessed, I'm just chameleon skanks. I keep thinking blessed chameleon skanks, but I am wrong. And we can probably go back to... Okay, warp fire throwers are gone. Excellent. We won't stick around to those skaven slaves to throw more slings at us. And they are controlling the towers, so we need to get back on this side of the, the field. There we go. Back inside. Okay, that went alright. His nuke did hardly any damage. Really? You're spawning clan rats right beside my Soros, war Soros Warriors. Like, do you know that my units are, like, good against yours, right? Alright. Supplier Crocs of ours.
Huh. This is just... This is just Skaven Slaves. So we're gonna put some Spawnlings there. Or not Spawnlings. We're gonna put some Skinks there. Our Razodon hunting pack is gonna go pop here and they're gonna start shooting in. These guys are gonna come here. And we're gonna start shooting this way as well. I believe... I believe that front is fine. This front needs the excess uh, warrior group. And we've got more... Uh, Razorons? Not Razorons, Feral Cold Ones. So we'll pop them out there, and then we'll hit these guys on the flank with the Cold Ones. These guys and these guys repositioned right there. Oh, these guys, the globe ears are up there. Uh, that's painful. Can we move forward enough to knock them out? Or no, wait, wait, we can bring these guys over. Attack them there. Those guys should be knocked down. We're gonna get our Scar Veteran into the fight on this side. Razor on a hunting pack is doing its best. And uh, we can probably apply our cavalry over here. Set those guys to start shooting in that spot. Deathlobe. Bombardiers are getting knocked down, which is good. Hey, at least we're doing a lot more than damage than I thought we were going to with that um, uh, balance of power. Even if we don't win, we'll do a lot of damage to uh, Ikip here. These guys got eaten up. Probably mainly because of those globe ears. Which is unfortunate, but... <sighs> what are you gonna do? Yeah, we're gonna lose this fight, but... I think I did a lot more damage than... what... the game expected me to do, that's for sure. They had some serious, what they had some serious armor pierce or something that really worked through my uh, my forces, and also these uh, these deathglow gobadiers are probably like MVPs on their side. Right. But it was only a close defeat. That was good. We took a chunk out of them, and we did take out their uh, warp fires. Got them gone. You can see, probably, oh yeah, it get 26,000 damage dealt. Holy crap, he's overpowered. <sighs> yep. Yep, 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 yep. I want to see where else the uh, a lot of the damage came from. God, I can't pan over it anymore. Come on, game, load faster. If we just had a little bit more of walls here, we would have survived. Close defeat. Uh, take a look at the value. 20... 20 2,700 value. This guy had zero value. Yeah. Not much val value out of the slaves. That's not what they're there for. Yeah, look. There was good value out of those bombardiers. As I expected. Yeah, the most... The, the scariest things was the Death Runners. They've got... Uh, Anti-infantry? Armor Pierce? I can't remember which one. 
but they're they're good DPS. And then of course, Ikit himself is overpowered as fuck. So that is not good. He didn't sack that. He took it, didn't he? Oh, you're trying to attack Itza? Really? With those armies? Oh, you won't do that. You're gonna get absolutely destroyed. Just absolutely destroyed. You can't defeat Itza. You can defeat this place for sure. You can't defeat Itza. Man, it's the Monday you'll start the fight. I'm kind of tempted to auto-resolve this just to get the fight over with. I might lose some units, but whatever. Kind of feeling. Would I even win is a good question. That, see you next turn when that guy go, and those guys get fully healed. Uh, okay. Makai is ready. We'll pull him in here. And we'll put him in, I think, in camp. Increases that, like, actually affects the battle. At least I'd hope. And we'll, we'll build our things, we'll continue our siege, and then we hope he comes out to fight us. In which case, then we smuck his ass down. We have, like, zero income right now, which is really annoying. Uh, okay. So we've lost Park Poxmarsh. Thankfully, the Awakening is... It's about the same in level of defenses, which is kind of frightening. Goddamn, stupid Icket. Get out of here, just fucking rat. I don't want to have to deal with you. I was just going to stay in my jungle and... Uh, be happy in my jungle, but you have to come down here and attack me, and now I'm going to go all the way to Skaven Blight, and I am going to take my great big sword and stick it up somewhere very nasty. Uh, we have walls, but they have a Soros Carvator in here, so we're going to lose. Like, I, I wouldn't be able to defeat that guy, even with all these forces. If I had a hero, maybe we can do that, but not with that. So again, we lost that province. Oh, these guys are proving such annoyance. I will kill them soon. But also keep important thing to note there. Tech list didn't come out. So that means if we want to, we can let this run out. And Gorok will get the bonus from defeating Teclas. So four turns until they run out of supplies, and probably about two more turns into that before they're probably weak enough that I can auto resolve. And then Teclas will be gone. Order of Lore Masters will be gone. Ah, one more turn to like another couple Lizardman Towers here. How many turns left? Four turns. Okay. Do I have enough time to actually do this? So if I attack here, then end the turn, I have three left. I'll most likely need to recuperate for a turn. Two left. Moved here. One left. Attack. I pretty much have to go now, right? If I want to have this army around to take the Golden Colossus. I mean, it's over 50%. I really don't care if I lose some of these arm, these units. I'm just going to attack. Hey, I survived the auto-resolve. I lost a lot of forces, but that is okay by me. You are recuperating, but I will mo first move, then recuperate you. So that way you're a little bit further towards the enemy. And now we can see what they're... Ah, yeah, that'll... 
our forces will march over these guys like nothing. They don't even have walls. Absolutely amazing. And these three structures, nicely have them all built. Nice to have that built. I mean, this is a pretty well-developed settlement. I can't complain, but I can get it's up to level five, which is excellent. Ah, sorry, Scar Veteran, getting your points. Mesdemundi. Banishment causes moderate magical damage. Okay. The soul stone. The soul, soul of stone. I thought that just said, like, the soul stone, and I'm like, ooh, an infinity stone will be undefeated. Yeah, Teclis isn't coming out. We passed his turn again. Yes, Teclis is hiding in his tower as there's a bunch of dinos outside, and he's like, I don't want to fight them, but then we'll run out of, we'll soon run out of food, and then the elves will be done with. Then I can consolidate everything. Go and push those guys out of the... Like, go kill the Skaven off in the north. It'll be good. Raiding... Uh, Ickit... it's coming for the Awakening. Stop now. God damn, why is he coming for the Awakening? That is so annoying. <laughs> go away, Ickit! I can pop out a lord just to have a lord. I'm losing money now per turn, but at least I have a lord. So it's something I can initiate the battle back against him or something. Nakai needs to stay here in order to keep Teclas in his tower. <sighs> Such a bad situation <laughs> okay this guy can initiate the battle so we'll move him master Mundi, to there and then these guys can initiate the golden colossus battle which will pull master Mundi in and that's an easy auto resolve oh wins a magic 100 percent uh physical resistance from master Mundi. we secured the province which will allow us to get the alignment of crafting. Mazda Mundi can uh, start. What is he? He's got three turns left with his army. One, two. Now he's not going to be able to get here to attack this place in time. That sucks. But that army did what it was going to, and next turn we're going to get a very large amount of. Uh, income back because we're not going to be trying to field all these dinos which then comes the question I'm not going to be able to use them I should just disband them now because I can't use them or at least I'm not going to be able to hit an army in time with this, with this group to be able to do anything so I should just disband these guys they're done they've done their job Good job, dinos. You have done it. And now Mazdamundi is just my army. Um, very good. And I actually have money now, which is very, very, very good. So Mazdamundi can go and... Probably head back to Itza. Get some units back, and then take that place out. Then once, okay, once this person's done here, he can come back up through here, take out that, take out that, and then hook around and take out these two. Probably just a, just put these guys down for good, and then take out the Pillars of Unseen and the Wellsprings of Eternity, and then that will be these guys done then I'll be my entire western flank secure and then I'll sit an army over here until that place is built up and I'll take Mazda Mundi back to Itza and he'll start uh, getting an army together 
Teclis is still sitting in his little huddle, in his little tower there, not able to do anything. Clan Scryer is besieging. So that's okay. As long as Clan Scryer is just going to besiege, that's fine. A oh, peace negotiated between those two bastards that are attacking me. <laughs> they probably have a mutual enemy, which is me. Uh. So. Wow, that's really bad in our favor. I refuse. Why is Ikit so overpowered? Like, holy crap. He was great to play as, but holy crap is he overpowered. And I hope he doesn't have another Doom Rocket. Because that would just be stupid. Although, he has shown that he is a dumbass, and he will fire a Doom Rocket at pretty much anybody. These guys are about done here. You can't recruit because you're being besieged. But I can recruit a lord over here and quickly recruit to go and help you, right? Mage, mage Priest be the best one? It, a level 5, I could get some healing spells. And then... I mean, everything's going to take a long time to recruit. Most likely just fill up with skinks, just so I can flood the battlefield. We got uh, Umbral Tide as well that we can unlock as we're on our way up. And here we can get to level out our Earth Blood and Life Bloom just so we can heal things. Uh, yeah, let's get you to Chamber of Visions. And coming back this way. Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's a big pile of. Uh, of crap, though. It's okay. He's got a decent enough army with the garrison. He should be able to do this. I might not be able to leave these guys alone. I might need to push uh, our, our mage priest straight forward and crush these guys immediately and let Mazda Mundi go back and go back to Itza, recruit a little bit, and then hit these guys. And then hit these guys. Okay. That might be planned. It's a still hasn't attacked us yet, though. We have four more turns until we run out of supplies. So we could make an entire stack of um, skinks and throw them at Itza. No, uh, throw it at uh, Ikat here. Again, he's staying in his tower, not coming out, which is good. Stay in there, you stupid elf. Cry and Scryer, you're staying there, you're continuing the siege. Okay. So yeah, there's enough there that he doesn't want to attack for some reason. He's waiting for towers. He's waiting for towers. That's what he's doing. These guys are attacking right away. Um. Oh, are they going to knock me down? Are they actually going to defeat me with this? I don't think this... I don't know if this is auto-resolvable. Even if it is, and even if they knock down Mazda Mundi, this army is right here, and next turn can take this place back. Oh, I won. Nice. Yeah, I don't really care about the rest of these guys. As long as Mazda Mundi survived the battle, that's okay. Oh my god, that army's coming down to fight us. Oh, girl. Get these guys. Yeah, he's waiting for towers. That's what he's doing. This guy... Because he could attack at any point. Needs to march hard. He has some units to help defend. He won't be able to... Well, he'll be able to get the regiment renowned. So... How does that change my... That, that helps my balance of power. Having these guys show up. And if 
Ick it continues to not attack. Which, I'm, he's only got one campaign skill, so he does not have Lightning Strike. That is good. His AI is dumb about that. He would not be able to go to this guy, knock him down with Lightning Strike, and then fight the rest of it. <sighs> okay. Okay. I think I'm figuring this out. Uh, focus Mysteries. Bounce Spell. I don't know how to build Mazda Mundi. He's weird. Never played Mazda Mundi's campaign before, so I never know how to build him. Uh, we'll get you to here, and then we'll ambush? What's ambush success chance in this area? 80%. If this guy comes on down, we're going to get a nice ambush off on him. And locally, we can recruit... Mazda Mundi probably wants some temple cards. I mean, does he have a thing that's like... Yeah, mine is up 50% upkeep for temple cards. So... Our temple cards are cheaper than our source warriors, which is amazing. So... Sure, let's give Mazda Mundi a stack of temple cards. These guys working together will knock down these two armies. Actually, no, this guy's not a warrior. He's running away. We'll knock down this army when he comes in. Then he can go up this direction. Mazda Mundi can go and take this place with his um, his stack of temple guards. We are one more turn until they start losing units. Ludicrous. And hopefully Teclas, uh, not Teclas, uh, Ikit doesn't attack here. We'll have to see. Go, does it go past Scryer? He's bringing in reinforcements. That's what he's doing. Okay. I am on Forest March here, so I can get myself into a better stance. And then I can attack. And I ambushed! Oh my god, these guys are absolutely ru ruined here. Just destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. Okay. Another turn until I get all of my Temple Guard, which will be quite nice. This army is going to push north and take out these guys. Uh, mission issued, win three battles. Oh, bless these chameleon skanks. Okay, that's nice. Some. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What do I got here? I should start getting his. Um, blue line. Because that is a very important line to get fighting. You can go into a better stance, which will be... Uh, melee pants and leadership, immune to attrition. This army is going to come in. I can see if it's possible for me to get another six skinks. It might not be possible for that to occur. But at least... If, if they choose to not attack for one more turn... Because this guy's coming in and then it'll be an absolute wreck. Um, alternatively... Do we just attack while it gets alone? And try to do as much damage as we can to Ikit. Because if that other army comes in and reinforces Ikit, we're just done. There's no way that we're winning that fight. I think we have to take the fight to Ikit. I mean, essentially everything in the north here is just a delay tactic. Do as much damage as possible. Delay Ikit as long as possible. Until I can finish off Teclas in like a turn or two. And then my main Gorok army can start coming north. And then Gorok will be able to take these guys out. Because Croak will just shit on Ikit. Ikat thinks he's a good spellcaster. Croak is better. <sighs> so we'll take the fight to Ikat. Try to do as much damage to him as possible. Thankfully, he has no more rocket. So we can clump up. But that's going to be in the next episode. For now, thanks for watching. And good hunting out there, fellow Saurus warriors and lizardmen.